Cutting fluids are high-tech products. They have to meet different requirements. Cooling and lubricating. They must provide good corrosion protection, compatibility with the human skin, and guaranteed compatibility with sealing materials and paints. Low foaming characteristics and long sump life are also required. However, cutting fluids are used in a dynamic environment. Water in the top-up emulsion regularly adds hardness and salts. Some of the emulsion is dragged out of the system with chips and workpieces. And during machining, the emulsion is contaminated with ultrafine sludge and tramp oil. The high turbulence and temperature at the cutting edge causes water evaporation and mist formation. So to maintain high quality and stability, even the best cutting fluid needs some maintenance to some degree. With simple equipment, all the main emulsion parameters can be measured on site. Our customers are mainly concerned with parts production. They take the cutting fluid for granted. But cutting fluid is a high-tech product and must be treated correctly. Firstly, it must be correctly prepared. Secondly, it must be used in the right concentration. And thirdly, it must be correctly maintained. Only by paying attention to all three points can our products provide optimal service. Our cutting fluids are of high quality and they need only little effort to be correctly maintained. Reliable measurements are not only possible in the laboratory. The advantage of on-site measurements is that they can be carried out quickly and there is no confusion about the origin of the sample. The most critical emulsion parameter is the degree of concentration. It supports the lubrication performance, corrosion protection and emulsion stability. Concentration therefore is the most important measurement for all water miscible cutting fluids of Blase Swiss Lube. What's more, the concentration can be precisely adjusted on site. It is measured with a refractometer, at least weekly, and always when topping up. The second parameter to be measured on site is the pH value. Here again the pH value is measured once a week. The pH strips are a very dependable method and the risk of error is extremely low. pH sticks with a range of 6.5 to 10.0 are best. For some Blaso Cut and Basco products, the pH value is almost as important as the concentration. A low pH value is an early warning that the long-term stability is jeopardized. The third measurement taken on site is the determination of the emulsion hardness. Again, hardness testing strips are used for measuring. The emulsion hardness influences the foaming behavior in some Blaso products. Emulsions with low hardness have a tendency to foam. Emulsions that are too hard can cause instability. The foaming behavior of a few products is hardly affected by increasing the hardness. For example, Grind X10, Vasco 5000 and some Be Cool products. In Germany also the nitrite concentration must be measured. The limit is set at 20 milligrams per litre. Measurements should be taken and recorded once weekly. And finally comes the foam test. Fill the test bottle halfway, shake the emulsion for 30 seconds and let it stand. In a good emulsion all the foam will collapse within 15 seconds. Emulsions also have to be checked for appearance and smell. This is a way of detecting changes early. Emulsion maintenance includes removing chips, sludge and tramp oil. The cutting fluid sump is not a trash container. Correct maintenance ensures a long sump life, as well as consistently high cutting performance and surface quality.